the first time I heard I had avascular necrosis, my doctor said, you'll probably need a knee replacement. They last about 15 years and you can get two knee replacements in your life. And I'm doing the math and I'm thinking, uh, hello, I'm gonna be like 60 and what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna be able to walk. When I would go to doctors and they would talk about a knee replacement, it was very dismissed because I have autoimmune issues, my knee was super swollen, my body was just fighting itself, no one wanted to give it to me. It was Christmas time in 2012. I will always remember my doctor's face when he came in. He said, your bone is dead, it's called avascular necrosis, I know what it is, I've seen it, but I have no idea how to treat it. And really he had no one to send me to. You know, I'm a pretty positive person, but after you know the 15th doctor is telling you that they can't help you or they don't know what to do with you because you have all these other issues going on, um, it really starts to wear on you. Life was really, really hard. And I was living this go, go, go lifestyle. And to go from that to laying in bed in your parents' basement where everyone else is just you know living life I was in constant pain. I was so inflamed. It was really hard. And I was just trying so hard because I wanted to make it to Christmas and I wanted to enjoy Christmas. And I actually was doped up on painkillers most of that Christmas day and ended up in the hospital that night. So the following year, I was on crutches and everyone was like, oh, maybe you should put lights on your crutches since you love Christmas so much. And, I'm think and I said, well, you know, if I'm on them next year, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it. Thinking in the back of my mind, there's no way I'll be on them next year. Well, the next year rolls around and I'm still on crutches. The one thing that really helped me was just connecting with other patients online through social media, through other people's blogs to make to realize that I wasn't alone. That was really the driving force behind um, me realizing that I needed to take what I was going through and use it for good. I started a blog to get my story out there to help other people, um, just to get information flowing, putting out blog posts like twice a week and I'm writing for these different online publications like WebMD, Health Central, Healthline teaching health and wellness classes with going and speaking at conferences and representing the patient voice. When I started uh, finding information about PRP and stem cells, you know, I, I had gone to a few doctors who suggested one or the other, but it never just really felt right until I came across the Regenix uh, procedure. Last year I said, this is it. This is the last Christmas I'm going to be on crutches. So I'm you know, doing up big and putting the lights on the crutches and, because I knew this time last year, I knew I wasn't gonna be on crutches for Christmas because I had scheduled my Regenix procedure. I knew, I just knew it was gonna work. They were the first people that gave me hope. I knew stem cells, it was my, they were my own stem cells. Um, you know, my body wasn't gonna fight it. So this Christmas is really special because it's the first one in, uh, you know, three, four Christmases that I'm not on crutches and um, I'm able to walk and, you know, you don't really think about walking and Christmas together, but it's, it's so special to me.